Hello, hello, everybody. We are continuing our Pokemon Emerald playthrough and adventures and such, because tonight we're going to see exactly where we need to go, because uh, uh, last time we beat Flannery and her uh, super shenanigan team of four overheating flame fire types, which is very annoying. But the only hint that we got from there was that Brendan was going to go from Lava Ridge back down to, like, uh, I think Petalburg to fight Dad. So we'll have to probably see about doing that. Because I forget exactly, because I know that we can head that way now, which is probably why they had us come this way. Because, like, we went all the way around so that we could come here. And then we could made that shortcut back to Rustboro, and then like could come down here. So it all leads back to Rustboro. So you could have probably come up here to Lava Ridge, done all this, and probably beat Flannery. Oh, but no, because Maville is where Watson is, not this place. This is just a silly no-name place. But in the end, the game's just meant to like lead you around and then end up back at Rustboro, probably to fight your father. Well, let's not keep things waiting. Let's go see if we can beat up Dad. I suppose, and I guess some of this is regrown. We still haven't made any Pokeblocks. Oh, I thought it was to pick. Sadness. I don't even know what a Pokeblock is. Yeah, we already fought everybody here. And now through the tunnel. Whimsmer, whim, whizmer. Not whimsmer, or whatever. My brain just is terrible at doing that. And yeah, I did a bit of grinding. Just to catch up some Pokemon. Have things go good. It's not that bad. Although I think now we can take the experience share from Striker. I gave it to him primarily, or give it to her, primarily to, because uh, the area that we were grinding in wasn't really conducive for an, uh, an electric type to be able to thrive. But I do find it kind of amusing that, at least in this game, it feels like the experience share is only really useful to level up low-level Pokemon that you've caught and want to bring them up to the level you want, like, with the rest of your team. It's basically to supercharge. So that your main Pokemon might lose out on half the experience of fighting a Pokemon, but the other one, the one you're experience sharing with, is getting such a big boost because they're so low level that balances out. Just coming this way so we can bounce away because I don't think any of those berries are ready for harvest. Like maybe we can give the fossils that one guy because he said that reviving fossils was going good, so we can just stop in. See if uh, Mr. Stone or whatever is going good. I've been trying to develop a device that resurrects Pokemon from fossils, and it's working! Wait, that thing you have there, is that a Pokemon fossil? Would you like to bring that Pokemon back to life? I can with my newly developed fossil regenerator. Could use a more interesting name, but okay. Excellent! Let's do this right away! Here's the claw. Which I made is incredible, but it has one drawback. It takes a long time to work. So how about you go for a stroll and look around for a while? Understandable. I mean, you are bringing a, a deceased ancient Pokemon back to life. So I guess it's not that insane. Devin's new products, the Repeat Ball and Timer Ball, have been become hugely popular among trainers. What's a Timer Ball? I know the Repeat Ball is like, hey, you want more of this Pokemon catch? Since my youth, I've immersed myself in work. Consequently, I'm not familiar with the trends of that sort of thing. And, but do Pokemon... Do Pokemon? Ah, yes. The, the fashion of Pokemon. The most important thing to worry about. But do young people all want to be traders in the Pokemon League? Yes. 
That is the very basis of these games. Are you speaking heresy and acting like b nobody would want to do that? Then again, you have only really immersed yourself in your work. Other people's work are Pokemon. But we can just zip zap zoom on by everywhere. See if these berries are hip to pick. Nope, they're flowers. We can't pick those. We can't pick flowers. Are you insane? Nobody picks flowers. They're poison. Are you also flower? Yeah, it's all flowers. Are you just... Are you... I don't remember somebody walking out here. Saplings recently. I don't need this white herb anymore. Would you take it? Isn't that that thing that Flannery's Torkoal, like, reset her stat downs with? I'm not going to use it because I'm a maniac who looks at items that I can be used. I'm just going like, eh, but I don't want to. Run by everybody. Maybe we can check up with Wally's family. I wonder how our Wally is doing. Apparently they're not keeping up with them. You don't have a Pokenav? Your son has a Pokenav. Why don't you, like, uh, call him? Don't you have a phone? This is Blizzard now. Do you not have phones? We'll set everybody up, because I do believe that our father, Norman, should be a normal type. Does it get it? Norman the normal? Ha ha. Ha 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 ha. Ha. But, uh, hey, Dad, I kicked a lot of people's asses, or are you meant to... Well, it's got activated. Hey, how's it going, Champion Bound Neon? The doors in this gym open when you beat the awaiting trainers. Whoops, the doors in this room are already open, so don't attack me! The trainers of Petalburg use all kinds of items. The door at the left leads to the speed room. And the door at the right leads to the accuracy room. The room's names will be on the door, so choose carefully. Once you've chosen the door, well, hey, go for it. Accuracy room. I don't fear accuracy, unless that means that they're going to be lowering mine. <laughs> this is the accuracy room. It's pretty nasty when every attack lands without fail. Yeah, but if I kill you before you even hit me, you're not going to be able to do much. Alright, I think all my Pokemon should be in a decent area. Damn. I forget. How dare you, normal type, be able to do lots of damage. Well, fine. I guess I'll swap out. And, uh... Surprise! Oh, wait a minute. You're gonna use Pursuit, and that's gonna, like, do extra damage because I swapped out, right? Isn't that a thing with Pursuit? I don't know. Oh no, you're using Faint Attack, which is different. You fool. Now I'm gonna chomp on your neck. For some reason I read... Ah, items. Gotcha. But yeah, for some reason my brain was like Faint Attack. It obviously means Pursuit. Wow, you're a bad person. Kill it anyway. Nightfang just attacks anybody it's, like, charmed with. Kill! Damn you. I thought this was supposed to be the, uh, the accuracy room. What does charm have to do with accuracy? Nothing, I tell ya. Flinch. Haha. -ha. Get flinched, fool. I probably should have bought more super potions. Probably should have bought more super potion. You were a cut above me. Also, I just realized I failed to save before we really came in here. Well, that's bad. I guess we'll have to suffer a blackout if we do. Either that or just run through things. It didn't take me that long to get here. It's not like it's super painful. Well, 
Let's see, who else should I swap in, maybe? Guess I could have Stryker maybe get some licks in. What's this door? The defense room! Let's check out the other door. Recovery room. I don't know which one would be more annoying. I mean, I guess I could save in here. I will have to live with my mistakes and black out. Because really, you only lose, like, money if you black out. The higher the defense, the more reckless I can be in attack. Yeah, unless I paralyze you, and then you won't be able to attack at all. Yeah, that is indeed a monster of evil. Thunder Wave. Don't even let it raise its defense. Damn you. How dare you not be paralyzed. You bastard. Double edge. Oh, because you take your own take damage yourself. Get paralyzed and don't double attack me. You bastard. Well there goes Striker. That's a stupid move. Because you killed yourself, didn't you? No, you didn't. It's stupid. That is an evil move game. Kill. Oh yeah, I forgot. You're a bastard game. And once again, only I'm allowed to be affected by paralysis, apparently, in this game. Enemy be affected by negative things? No. It did get critical hit, at least. Which is something. But I don't think I have any revives, because they don't fucking sell them, it felt like. Maybe I just missed them? Maybe I just missed all... Oh, wait, no, I did buy revives. I forgot. It just, it, it went so long without there being revives that I just felt like they didn't exist. But yeah, Double Edge is a stupid move. It didn't even kill the Wigglytuff. Strength Room, so probably lots of damage. And, <laughs> fuck no. I dealt enough of that from Flannery. Our gym leader told us to go all out and beat you, even if you happen to be the leader's kid. I bet he was nice to Brendan. He was probably waiting in the main room. Okay, listen. Be paralyzed. Have it happen a lot. Please. Let Stryker, like, <laughs> thank you. Let Stryker <laughs> have a level up. I only have nine revives. Very nice, thank you, game. Jesus! My luck must be turning around. The game is like, fine, we're gonna paralyze an enemy for you multiple times in a row. It feels like that never happens. But I went all out! You literally weren't allowed to. I was the boss for once. I won the day. It feels nice when the RNG is on my side. It feels good. And I guess we will add the, what is it? The something, yeah, the silk scarf. By use, I mean give. Why can you even use thing if it cannot be like diddly dee, you stupid dee? Well, we'll... Hmm. I'll start the match against dear Norman Father out. <laughs> Gym Leader's Room. See for yourself what Pokemon await you. <laughs> I have a choice. Can I just stay here for all eternity? And we will save again. Because paranoia. And we will fight Father. Also, this gym feels a lot bigger on the inside than it was on the outside. Hmm. So you did get four gym badges. Fine, as I promised, we will have a Pokemon battle. Neon. 
I'm so happy that I can have a real battle with my own child. But, a battle is a battle. I'll do everything in my power as a gym leader to win. Neon, you'd better give it your best shot, too. I have revives. <coughs> but not really a tanky Pokemon to do it. Hmm. Spinda. Once again, I'm going to assume like a level 32 will be your ace. Make it flinch! Damn you. Make it flinch! Really, so long as you don't have any, like, one-hit KO moves, I will not care all that much, Father. And this is the perfect time. I'll heal my boy. Oh yeah, and I found a heart scale while I was walking about, making sure I cleared everything out during my grinding. And suddenly I found a heart scale just on a rock. So I, did, I picked the perfect time to heal, because he was going to heal anyway, and his heal would supersede my attack if I chose to attack. And he hasn't been flinched yet, which is a little annoying. This Spinda is unflinchable! Jesus Christ, that was a crit. Sorry, Father. I'm a heal spammer beyond your dreams. Teeter dance? What'd that be? Rays evasion? Cause conf- hmm. Interesting. Kill. Break through that confusion. Bite its neck! Finally! It flinched! But now my Night Fang is confused, and now you'll hit, won't you? Yep. I felt that in my bones. The Spinda is causing me to use a bunch of my heals. Then again, it's not a devastating enemy. So it's not, like, crazy. Break through the confusion! Yes. Good job, Night Fang. I think they're all gonna be normal types, so let's see. I'm about to use a slacking. Is there anybody who I care to use? Hmm. Night Fang, continue on. And you're gonna put my poor boy to sleep. Bite his face! Good, it's loafing around. And now it also uses facade. Why was that a lot of damage, game? That feels bullshit. Why? That, that felt like it should have been a crit. What the fuck, game? Okay, good. It's indeed loafing around. Yeah, in my opinion, having a Pokemon that can just go, Ma, I put you to sleep. Doing that much damage feels like bullshit, man. Why, my dear friend? Double team! And hope that it doesn't hit us with anything. We'll just use double team a few times to try and give us a good opportunity for things. And we'll do it one more time for... for luck. Now keep loafing around. Good. And we'll lower your stats too. Damn. Wing attack! You have way too much health. Yeah, this is a brick wall of a Pokemon that can put you to sleep and do just tons of damage. Granted, it's a little dumb, but still, terrifying. Guess I'll go ahead and heal you for future fighting. Please don't do a lot of damage. 
Okay, it wasn't terrible. Like, I guess I can kind of get it, because the loafing around mechanic is there. But, it does feel a bit wonky that a brick wall can do that much damage and put you to sleep. And apparently yawn is a guaranteed move. On your, you have, do you have leftovers or something? A citrus berry. Which is kind of mean. Double team, raise your ability to stay asleep and not be hit. But hopefully it'll, like, struggle itself to death. Because one thing I'm... A, it kind of makes sense. But from a player perspective, it's a bit annoying that... Please don't kill. Thank you. It's a little annoying that... Uh, status effects like sleep only go away if you, like, do something with your Pokemon. I understand it as a balance thing, because that way you have to commit. You can't just go and do another thing. So it's understandable, it's just a, a little annoying. But thank you for uh, the extra evasion that you have given me. Now I am the one who is impossible to hit. How does it feel, father? Let me guess. Hyper potion. Jesus Christ, he didn't use a hyper potion on his brick wall. Thank God. And is about to send out Vigor off. Hmm. I don't know what typing Vigor off is. I think it's just normal. And you're a lower level. How much brick wallness are you? Not as much. Oh no. I shall use double team. Re up my evasion, because I don't know if, like. Because obviously they have to, like. Reset stat stuff a little bit from time to time during the fight, right? That they have like a specific amount of time that the stats are the stats that they are, and then they reset, right? Granted, he's getting a lot of hits off. Another double team. Maybe I'm just getting unlucky. <laughs> then again, I would say, considering the amount of damage that goddamn like uh, final evolution of Vigoroff could do, slack off. I think I lucked out there. Also, it really feels like that that one was his ace. You just have lots of accuracy. Thank God for not having much damage or one-hit KO moves. Flannery! And let me guess. The game preserved you for a hyper potion. I knew it. Why does that always happen? It feels like that always happens. that the enemy survive with literally... Oh, uh, evasion is b b perfect. Good. I wasted my turn on that, but... Yeah. I wonder what you're like... Because obviously, with the way that Pokemon battles work, you're, you've still got to have your ace up your sleeve. The final one that's the highest level, and it happened again! Is it just like a... F this has happened way too often. This has happened way too often that with wild Pokemon, with gym leaders, that their Pokemon survive with a little bit of health left. It feels like it's a bit absurd how often it has happened. Granted, it's happened to me once or twice, but still. It happened to the v that Vigoroth twice in a row. You're gonna send out your Lanoon, I'll send out mine. Let's find out whose Lanoon is better. My Zoom? Or your Lanoon? My Lanoon's better, headbutt. 
make it flinch. But it failed. And but again. Dad, you are severely underwhelming. I feel like the difficulty was not spread to Norman. Maybe, maybe I just got lucky with the thing that was supposed to be evil. With Watson, the evil came from his Magneton. With Flannery, it was overheat on all of her Pokemon. With Brawly, it was kind of all his Pokemon because I just wasn't really leveled for him. But then again, I think I only wiped on him once. So yeah, it's just, it feels, I was expecting more. I was dreading more. But I was actually decently leveled and uh, evasioned away on you. Huh. I, I can't. I can't believe it. Neon. I lost to Neon? But <laughs> rules are rules. Here, take this. Money! My allowance for the year. And the balance badge. Not so balanced that I wasn't able to beat you with three Pokemon. With that badge, the defense of all your Pokemon will increase. Pokemon that know the HM move Surf will be able to travel over water. This is my gift to you, Neon. I'm sure you can use it correctly. I don't even have Surf. Where is Surf? Maybe I can go back to that one town with the museum and the guy might have come back and I can get Surf from him, maybe? TM42 contains Facade. Not as good as Overheat, that kicked my ass. It doubles the power of moves if the Pokemon is poisoned, paralyzed, or burned. Well, thank God that I never sent out Striker. It might be able to turn a bad situation into an advantage. As the gym leader, I can't express how upset I am. But as a father, it makes me both happy and a little sad. It's odd. Hey, is that Wally, father? Oh, there you are, Neon. Please come with me. I have something I want you to have. Norman, you don't mind, do you? Let me borrow Neon for a minute. Who are you? You use the, the normal. Are you Wally's father? I think you're Wally's father. You are Wally's father, I assumed. But you have a generic sprite. Neon, please excuse us for dragging you here this way. But our Wally's become very healthy since he went to Verdanturf Town. We owe it all to you. When Wally left town, you helped him catch a Pokemon, right? I think that made Wally really happy. Actually, not just Wally. It made me, his father, happy too. Happy that he's gained such a great friend as you. I have talked to him, like, twice. And kicked- well, no, I think I talked to him three times. Three times. This isn't a bribe or anything, but I'd really like you to have this. And now I can surf! And kill people! If your Pokemon can surf, you'll be able to go to all sorts of places. And now the world opens up. Let us learn a surf. We shall give it to who? The only one available who I assumed from the beginning. Yes, we will forget. Tackle. We are never getting rid of Headbutt. Headbutt is Zoom's ace. And if anything, Surf is gonna be decent for... for Zoom. Because it'll allow... us to annihilate... certain kinds of Pokémon now. The water is dyed a deep blue. I have no idea why Lanoon can learn... Surf, but... Hey, Lanoon can learn surf. Why can we come here? For a rare candy. I don't use rare candies for some reason. I just, I don't want to use them. They feel precious. And now the world has opened up. And we can go to many, many places. Now the question is, where do we want to go? Well, actually, I have an idea of where to go. First things first is I'm going to give the experience share 
Again, when I want to use it, it means I want to give it to a Pokemon. We're gonna level up some of our Pokemon by going to uh, places that still have trainers before we move on to later on. Like the bike road. Let's see, look at my Pokenav. Because there is the, like, the bike route, I think, around here. I think. There's a bike route in some area. Yeah, it has to be. Because we go up from Slateport, we can then, uh, between Slateport and Mauville is the bike road. We can go there and beat up some Pokemon trainers that we missed. Then I'll probably swim around here to defeat all the trainers and all get all the items and stuff. Hmm, and I don't know about this route. Hmm. I do not know. What I'll probably do after we clear out the bike road and clear out all of the trainers on these water routes is... We will then clear out this path and then loop around, if at all possible. There's entirely possible that the game will say, hey, no, no do that. But let's go bike roadin'. Maybe we can talk to mother and be like, hey, I beat father. I kicked his ass. Maybe we can also talk to Professor Birch. I'll just talk to people. There's a diary here. It's the instruction booklet for the running shoes. Why does a why does it need running? What is it, honey? A Pokenav? Someone from Devon gave it to you. Well, honey, how about registering your mom? Better than Wally's parents. Oh, did Dad give you that badge? Then here's something from your mom. Amulet coin. I think that just gives me tons of money. Don't push yourself too hard, dear. You can always come home. Go for it, honey. Yeah, I think amulet coin is a held item you use to get tons of exp... No, not... Maybe. Maybe experience. But I think mostly money. Well, Birch is gone. Where is he? He's studying the habitats and distribution of Pokemon. The professor enjoys Brendan's help, too. There's a lot of love there. Well, I haven't seen them together since the beginning of the game. Doesn't feel like much love there. Yeah, because let's look at our Pokenav, look at our map, because I do believe... Yeah, we can come up here, cross the water... ...to the slate port. Let us ride! And immediately get into a fight! The waters will die red today. Oh, because I guess poison type is strong against grass for some reason, which cancels out the super effectiveness of grass type moves on water. But still, that makes no sense. Why is poison stronger than grass? Or at least strong against grass? It feels a bit wonky. I guess I do have Striker if I could send out if I really wanted to. But Leaf Blade kills all anyway. We'll put Striker up here because these fools will probably use water types. Fight me! Watch where you're going! We're going to crash! You gently swam to me. This sort of distance, you should just swim it! I am a child. Do you want me to die? A Meryl and a Tentacool, huh? Well, we'll try things out. Shane, kill. You, also kill. Goodbye, Tentacool. And Leaf Blade. A glorious, powerful attack, if you ask me. 
That was overkill, Shane. You did not need to critical hit the Meryl. Goodbye. Uh. Oh, that's good going. You just insulted me for not swimming. I do not understand these people. I don't know why. That just... That place. And now... Oh, we can just come down here and take the bike road up. Fight a bunch of trainers. I don't know what kind... Will, like... Pokemon types they'll use. Sorry, you can't walk on Cycling Road. It's too dangerous. Okay, I figured that you would let me... Because normally you can't ride a bike indoors. So I just figured that I would walk by and things will activate. On the Cycling Road, these riding mock bikes are rated for their number of collisions and their total times. Acro bikes do not qualify for rating. They're easy to turn, so it's not fair. Safety is not fair. So that's just a mini game you can do, I guess. Learning techniques will make bike running even more fun. There are some places that you can reach only by using a bike technique. I know that. Well, watch it. I guess you're not used to bike racing. I'm not here for bike racing. I'm here for murder. Really? Leaf Blade. Really? A level six? I think that, like, the, the... I don't understand you. Hey, Luna, this is a good... Like, well, not really good. It, well, it's some experience for you. It's some. Because apparently these people just don't know anything. S level 6? Like, I figured, like, level 15 would be... Magnemite. But you... Hush, who kill? Who shall kill? Hmm. Because it's a, it's a goddamn steel type, and it's just like, I take no damage from anything. Hmm. Ah, well, it's going to be low anyway. I hate your existence, you little bastard. Psychic. Why is it just a... It is over half times jump. Why is it eight levels higher than all your other Pokemon? Whoa, my brakes failed! I shall throw you off this place. Fight me. I've been riding without stopping. My thighs are like rocks. Some people are into that. Let's see. Another Magnemite. Rush it with Psychic. Like, if you're going for the time record, do these guys just not bother you? Or what? Another Magnemite. You're a monster. I wonder how effective... Wait. That's a thought. If, like, since Tentacool has proven that, like, a super effective attack against a dual-type Pokemon who has a type that is both strong and weak against the, uh, the attack... Well, let's see. Hello, this is Ethan. I saw this new Mel a while back, but I couldn't catch it. I was so close to. Well, we'll see ya. Wasted my time. But yeah, like... Don't panic if your bike's going fast. But, yeah... Because, like, Magnemite is both, like, electric weak. Because it's steel, but it's also an electric type. Doesn't that mean that if I use Striker, it would come out like a normal attack? Hmm. We're gonna have to see that. But I want to give Luna some more experience. Get out of here, Benjamin. I shouldn't panic during Pokemon battles. What are... Now I'm imagining, like, Yu-Gi-Oh! 5Ds. Well, I'll keep chugging on without stressing. Give me a shot if you're up to it. 
But yeah, like, what if it was like Yu-Gi-Oh! 5Ds, but it was Pokemon? Oh, hey, you got the bike from Rydal. You know, it's glaringly obvious. It says right on your bike. Rydal, 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 Rydal. Dude, stop. What is wrong with you? Why are you insane? You should ride it around all over the place. It's good advertising. What does this sign have to say? Seaside parking. Parking? Yo, you! Can you keep up with my speed? I'm gonna throw you off this bridge. How many Magnemites will you have? I hope two, because I want to test a thing with Striker. While at the same time leveling up Dear Luna. The only reason... Again, I don't understand why Steel is effective, apparently, against Psychic. It makes no sense. What, is it... Does it have to do with tin foil? But let's try this out. You're part electric, you're part steel. Which part wins out? I swear, if it goes not effective, I will be very annoyed. I expect it to even out to being diddly dee. Let's see. That's stupid. That's stupid, game. Because it has steel, which is super effect like electricity is super effective against it. Sure. It's also part electric, but that just means that it should come out to being normal. The triathlon is hard in the extreme. You have to, you have to, comp uh, brain can't read today. You have to complete the three events of swimming, cycling, and running. Does this make me a triathlete now? That I can swim on a Pokemon? Why do, why are all the bikers using Magnemites? Why is that your Pokemon of choice? I do not get you. Be gone, Satan. Pokemon battles are hard, too. For you. You know I like you. Let's have a rematch on Cycling Road. How do you like the way my raven-colored hair streams behind me? I grew my hair out just for that. For vanity? Feels like there weren't as many bikers on this cycling road as there was in Generation 1. We're gonna heal at the Pokemon Center. Huh? Watson? Oh, Neon, you look like you have a lot of zip. That's a good thing. <laughs> Finally, I've decided I need a favor, Neon. Marvel City has an underground sector called New Marvel. You know, and I'd like you to go there and switch off the generator. The generator has been running a bit haywire. It's getting unsafe. Here, this is the key to get to New Marvel. And where do I... How do I get there? Don't you worry about it. It won't be a challenge to you. The entrance to New Marvel is just a short surf away from Route 110. That's it. When you have my... Tr That's it. Then you have my trust. <laughs> I was wondering why a unique sprite was hanging about here. So that's the next story beat. Or maybe it's just an optional thing to do. Hmm. So it's a short surf away on Route 110. Let's see. Route 110, you say? So I guess just somewhere in here. There is that, like, little place that you can. But sorry, dude, uh, not just yet, because I still plan on doing what I was going to do. Where, I guess now we'll just head this way, swimity swim, we'll knock out all the trainers along the way, come back up, do the generator. That's what we'll do. I think that seems good. Actually, one second. We're gonna head back to Lava Ridge quickly. Let's see. Do you sell everything that's, like, up-to-date? Are you an up-to-date store? Do you sell revives? Super potion... No revives, so we have to go to Lava Ridge if we want them. Alright, so we're gonna head to Lava Ridge, stock up on stuff. Maybe not Pokeballs. We haven't been catching that many Pokemon. Not really much use to me, because I pretty much have my team, unless a super cool Pokemon comes along that I really want. 
But yeah, we're gonna head to Lava Ridge to do some shopping. Then we'll head to do some surfing and knock out all the fools that couldn't fight us because we were on Briny's boat. I'm surprised that they didn't try to get in front of the boat to stop us, to fight us. And because we annihilated everyone on the way here, we have nothing to worry about. Just a hop, skippy, skip. Don't know about that guy. Maybe I'm supposed to use secret power to... Because he did say I should have dipped into our secret hideout. But I don't think... Hmm. Surely we'll run into it naturally. Right? Because they sell revives. We need more revives, because paranoia. And more super potions. Because that's also a thing. <laughs> but I hope there isn't like a hidden, like, oh, I was knew I should have skipped into our diddly D hideout. Like, if that's like meant to be a thing. That I'm supposed to super, like, suss out. I admit it, you're strong. Don't worry about me. Go wherever you want. Hmm, he's looking there, so maybe... Because I'm trying to think if this is, like, actually a thing. Is this is actually a thing or what? It's probably nothing. I just want to check it out. Because it is. Hmm. It didn't note anything, like an indent in the wall, so, hmm, probably nothing. I don't know, my brain is just on paranoia mode. Maybe I'm missing a thing and I'm supposed to be doing the, like, uh, secret power, make your own little diddly D hidden room base thing. But now we're going to make our way back to Rustboro so we can use Surf to annihilate a bunch of swimming trainers. And unless they're like unbelievably difficult. If they're like super duper strong, we might abstain. Also, I just realized. Wait, no. I did. I was going to say, oh, Norman was the first gym leader that didn't annihilate us. No, it's just that we were lucky with evasion and heals. And that his, like, sl like slack off wasn't obscene against us. We mostly got lucky. Mostly. Annihilate with cut. Annihilate with cut. Destroy them all! And now... Just need to... Make our way through the forest. Elliot, yes, 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 you diddly D. The same cut copy and pasted words of everything. Ah, these berries are readies. Like, that's the problem with the berry system, is that, like, you have to check up on them a lot. And unless you have fly, they're not really worth planting all that much. Because, like, they won't be accessible entirely all the time. Hmm. I prefer the walking music. The music in this game is very nice. It's very cool. 
Here we are. We're almost there. Let us surf. Let us swam. And go and see if the people in the water are evil. Level 26, huh? Impressive. Although your damage is lacking. Probably because you're unevolved. Yeah, we're probably going to... Actually, this will be perfect. Striker, prepare for annihilation. What we'll do is we will mosey along and take out any trainers along the way to Brawley's Island. And then to Slateport and so on. I think that'll just work out really well. The blue, blue sky, the vast sea, it's so peaceful. And I'm here to ruin it. Give me your experience money. How are you walking on water, are you Jesus? Ah, Meryl. A Pokemon not really worth that much experience. Kill. Be gone, Meryl, you monster. The world ill needs one such as you. I lost while I was lounging. How do you lounge in water? Just, like, checking the nooks and crannies a bit. Didn't mean to get into a wild fight. I really should give some TM moves to my Pokemon. Spark attack. I guess before we go on further, because there are at least a few TMs that I've been meaning to give, like Steel Wing. That can be used on Dear Nickel. Let's see. 70 power, but with a chance to miss, which is a bit annoying. But hey, we'll get rid of Growl for it. Learn Stalwing. And Secret Power. Let's see. Not Shockwave. Or was it Shockwave? Let me just make sure. Because Brain wants to... It's Thunder Wave. I wonder what the difference between Shockwave and Thunder Wave is. Then again, we aren't, like, locked into using the Diddly D if we don't want to, I think. It has a 60 power, 20 power point. Sixty power. Hmm, but it never misses. But it seems to be less than Spark. It's just a guaranteed hit. Which I guess, in the sense that if you're in a tough situation and you need guaranteed hits, it's not bad. It's not like I use Leer all that much. What item doth you have found? Wait, no, no, I want to take. I want to take. That's kind of annoying that it just, like, resets up there because I was on the item. Okay. Escape rope. We're not even in a cave. I don't even think we're going to a cave. Hmm. I guess it's not bad to have for you. Wait, other people can learn it. That's interesting. Hmm. Maybe I should give it to Luna, because Stryker already seems to have, like, an offset version of it. He has Thunder... Wait, no. Uh, well, we can at least look and see. To, like, make brain work. Because you can see... Contest? 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 
contest? But yeah, Shockwave. Wait, no. Yeah, Shockwave. It is a 60 power and always hits versus Thunder Wave, which... Oh, wait, no. Versus Spark, which is 65 and just normal accuracy. It can miss if you use accuracy moves. Hmm. So, yeah, I think I might just use that with Luna instead. Give Luna a bit of, like, ability to do stuff, maybe. Because there's... There's Calm Mind, there's Double Team. But I kind of like her setup as it is now. Hmm. Trying to think. Yeah, I guess I'll... I'll stop for now. Because all I'm doing is going in circles. Game, I'm pressing back a million times. Let me just... Yes, why? Why do you have to ask? Would you like to stop? Oh, what do you mean? I'm pressing the back button. Makes me want to go back in time instead. Silly game. If I'm pressing back, cancel a million times, it's almost like that means I want to go back. I want to cancel. You may have survived for now. How dare you, acid. Do not make my Pokemon do drugs. You bastard. But yeah, these guys on the lake. Not lake. C don't seem to be leveled obnoxiously. Oh. I'm going to talk to you, man. Why can't I talk to the man on the deserted island? There's supposed to be a mystical rock around here. Oh, do you know anything about it? No, I do not. Let me guess. Sand true? Yep. Which means my poor boy is in a bad state. Not bag. Pokemon. We shall send out Shane to annihilate you for daring to show your face here. Don't you dare poison him. Don't you dare. Leaf Blade. Bye bye, Sand Shrew. Throw him into the ocean. Drown him like a baby Quasimodo. And we shall annihilate your Sand Slash as well. Which is the same level as your Sand Shrew. That is odd. Did you like the, like, parent-child dynamic that was going on? I was thinking too much about the rock while my Pokemon remained weak. How'd you even get here? So he says that there's a rock around here. I wonder if he's right. Maybe it's... Uh -huh. I figured it might be here. But well, we shall continue. My body feels lighter in the water. It's as if I've gotten slimmer. So you're deluding yourself. Your Wingle is super weak against my Striker. You, they are going to die. Goodbye. A flying water type. Hit by lightning and killed. Goodbye, fool. Hey, Luna leveled up. Huzzah. And a Whalmer. This Whalmer will also be annihilated for the good of science. For the good of science? Science. I'm floating. No, you're drowning. There's a difference. Oh, and Luna is evolving. Da 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 da. I do like the evolution sequence in this game. 
It's nice and simple. The background is what really makes it, I think. Congratulations, your Luna evolved into God of War! And now, I do believe, we shall move the experience share... I guess we'll take it off. What do you mean the bag is full, you whore? I'm gonna have to get rid of uh, this X attack. Goodbye. Alright, that was odd. I... I did everything and then just, like, lingered there until I pressed it again. Because everyone's around the same level now. Who is this? Good for you. Well, this is obviously an important place. For something or other. Maybe it's part of an event that I can't do. Because it requires mystery gift. Then again, I could probably use a save editor. Oh, Jesus Christ, that's a big motherfucker. So yeah, I could probably use a save editor to give me whatever I needed to activate the event if this is an event, or maybe it's just a story thing. Maybe this is Team Aqua's hidden base, and it's just not activated yet, and I need to learn to get in. That's entirely possible. Great, now I'm double thinking of giving the shock power to Luna still. Because this is going to be a double battle. We're going to put the two lagging behinders together for this double battle. Fight me. I'm exhausted from swimming. I'm just not used to it. I need a battle for a change of pace. I'm convinced that the sea keeps secrets from us. Ah, great. A conspiracy theorist. So a bird man and a not bird man. The bird man is going to be annihilated. All right, you can kill that one and you can kill the other one. Or at least try to. Goodbye, Taylor. The world is mean to you. As am I. And you send down to Wingle, it shall also die. The Sandshrew almost died. The world is good. Goodbye, Wingle. You did even worse than Taylor, because water flying against my electric type. You poor fool. Goodbye, Sandshrew. And now we shall just, uh, annihilate you. Goodbye, dear friend. I'm the master of the double battle. I lost because I battled at sea. No, you lost because you fought an electric type and you have birds. Yes, I'm no good at battling. You think the ocean is spying on you. <laughs> I'm so weak, you're willing to register me and... Uh, not what I, I want to turn. That's what I want. I want the big pearl, though. I want the... I guess I can toss this. Uh, it's very cheap. I can get more later. I found the big pearl. What is it? What is a big pearl? Sell for a high price. We can sell that once we get to the island that Brawly's gym is on. I don't know what it's called. Uh, did I fight you? I don't think I did. I don't think believe I that I fought you. Silly tentacool. I find it funny that, like, the level discrepancy of this entire place is hilarious. Up to the left, you can run into level 30s. Down here, 11. And now, my team is fully evolved, I believe. 
Ooh, I was worried that a kid was drowning when I saw you. You seem to be okay, so what do you say to a battle? Why do I feel like this is a scam? Well, kill. Leaf Blade. How dare you have an ability that makes me hurt me when I attack thee. I wonder if it does if it even faints. Even when it faints. That's silly. Glub glub. Now you're drowning. I want to watch it happen. Bop, 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 bop. If you're level 11 again, eh, level 14, we'll run. Primarily because I don't want to waste my Leaf Blades on Pokemon that don't give lots of experience. Oh, hey, item. Darn, I'm a fool. Iron. I hate... Why is there bag limitation in this game? Why? A hold item that restores any lowered stat. Hmm. Any lowered stat. You know what? I'll give it to you, I guess. I don't... And I don't think it's like... Used? Let's see. Iron raises the defense stat. Who should get it? Who should get it? Who... Maybe my ace, but... Zoom. I think I'll give it to Zoom. Zoom is our badass. Zoom is our badass and deserves to be praised. Fight me. <laughs> I'm a lousy runner, but in the water you can't catch me. I literally have a Pokemon that's basically a gun. Leaf Blade this motherfucker to death. My most powerful attack, Leaf Blade. How dare you survive? You do not deserve to survive. Now eat its soul. Where's Giga Drain? Or something. Aha, you missed. And I guess Bullet Seed, because you had the audacity to survive. That absorb. Oh dear. And what next? Another bloody tentacle! How dare you, Leaf Blade! And since that only did two damage, bullet seed him to death. Four. 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 I think that's enough. Aha! Good job! With the power of murder on our side, we will win anything. I give up! Call uncle and drown. And I suppose I'll throw Night Fang. Oh, hey! Looks like Zoom found another item. Ah, found a super potion. Always handy. The sea is my backyard. I'm not going to take it easy uh, because you're a kid. This kid is going to murder you. Not the wall, Mur. So what? You're gonna have a lot of health. You're gonna die. You're gonna die painfully. Kill. How dare you? You're supposed to flinch, not miss. I'm supposed to dominate your soul. At least you flinched once. Today has been going oddly nice when it comes to the RNG. Did you take it easy on me by any chance? So, uh, like, are you projecting? Ooh, protein! I think that raises the attack, I think. Let's see. Yep, raises the attack. Obviously, we're going to give it to our dear Zoom. Because despite being our HM slave, they are just absurdly good. Headbutt is a good move. 
A level 19 tentacle. You're worthy of killing, I suppose. Unless, like, poison type is good against dark for some reason. That would be weird. And a critical hit for no reason. Thank you, RNG. And this is the normal land. We shall first heal everyone up. Then we will go to the mart to sell things. And we will continue our surfing on to Slateport. Does this place even have a cell? Where's the Pokemart? This place doesn't have a Pokemart, it seems. How do they get groceries? Do they all just come here to starve? Onwards we go. Do you know a little town called Duford? Is it the place we came from, or is it another island out at sea? That bird must die. Eat his soul. Intimidate and kill. How dare... Again! It happened again! So many Pokemon survive with one HP. I swear it has to be like a programmed in variable. Granted, that never happened to me when it came to overheat unless you count Shane's like one time they survive with 8 HP. Let's have Luna come in for the fun. Your Goldeen means nothing to me. Psychic. Kill that fish. I hate this. And you'll hate... Does that mean that you hate Duford? How dare you hate Duford? It is a good place, full of good people. The sea is like my backyard. Let's battle. You stole that saying from somebody else back there. Plagiarist. You must be put to death at sea. Ah, so you're a bad person. Imagine if Carvana knew a damage over time move like poison. Or like a move that could poison. Ah, yes. Not very effective. Does half a, 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 more than half your fucking health. Your not very effective is worse than my not very effective. That makes my not very effective kind of effective. I win the match. It is my world, and you don't belong in my world. I lost on my home field. I'm shocked. You shocked me to the bone. Well, so you won't forget me. You are a weird man, Tony. Let's see. How is my... Like... How is my surf Pokemon supposed to battle if I'm on them? We always battle Pokemon, me and my sister. I always lose, but we can beat you two on two. We are going to annihilate you. Why does a young child like you have such a high-level Pokemon? It makes no sense. They must be annihilated. Destroy them all. Bite you. Headbutt you. Although I do recognize that headbutting the unicorn fish is probably a bad idea. Well, that's very annoying. Darn the confusion! I probably should have just focused on one, so we're going to get rid of the Goldeen if possible. When in doubt, I should focus on one side during these fights. Break through the confusion, you can do it! Yes. And this is why Zoom is the best. Zoom is the greatest. Wowee, you're at a higher level than us! Would be hilarious if you beat them with lower level Pokémon. Let's see, uh, do you need heals? Maybe. How many diddly-dee do we have? 
How much Harlan? Oh, we have a decent amount of healing. I just want to make sure that Night Fang is all good and diddly do. Uh, I must have drifted off to sleep while I was drifting in the waves. That seems not healthy. There are wild Pokemon in the sea. Are you not afraid for your life? And Jesus Christ, that's a lot of Pokemon. Yes, yes, yes. Clear body. Even though it's not clear, it's obviously solid blue. How dare you not flinch? You jellyfish. Can jellyfish flinch? Like in the real world? That would be an interesting thing to see. Everyone do the jellyfish flinch. It's the new hip dance move of the age. About to use Wingo, huh? Well, let's just destroy your hopes and dreams. I'm gonna send out Wingo. I'm gonna send out a Pokemon that'll kill your Wingo. Goodbye, Wingo. And now you are dead. At sea. And a tentacool, huh? Well, I want to use. I want to see some. I forget. Is poison weak to psychic, or is psychic weak to poison? Because isn't there a thing like in Generation One? Yeah, because I think it was in Generation One, like a ghost type was supposed to be strong against psychic, but they were also part poison, so it just threw calculations off. I lost. I'll take a snooze, I think. You're a very lazy person, aren't you? Let's see. Since I guess you leveled up, we can try this team up. Because somebody's going to be using a tentacool. I just know it. Did you want to battle me? Sure, I'll go with you. And I'm in the middle of a triathlon, but I'm nowhere near tired. Let me guess I'm going to beat you and you're going to say that you're unbelievably tired. At least you have a cool design. Goldeen and Staryu. Ah, new Pokemon. Well, old Pokemon, but new to me. And as always, focus one down. Lol, you are now dead. Goodbye. And Psychic on the Goldeen. You are now dead. Goodbye. I am the Winrar. I wasn't good enough for you. That exhausted me. Knew it. Goodbye, fools. I am the winner of this day. Me. And if Luna's in the lead, we'll keep fighting all these people to level up. Kick some ass. You only have one. And you sent out a Goldeen. Let's see how well Goldeen holds up to a confusion, then. Doesn't survive, so I've been wasting my Psychic on Goldeens. When I lose a battle, I get all stressed out. Why? I guess it could be like fighting games. Ahoy there! Are you going to the abandoned ship, too? There's an abandoned ship nearby. Can I steal all the money that's on it? Does rough skin count if it's a psychic? Like, obviously, I, I, I'm just gonna psychic you just to be safe. Oh, that's not good. So you must be dark type, huh? Why do I always go to back when I want to go to Pokemon? My brain is fried. Well, send out Zoom so Zoom can get some experience from this. Aha, you missed. Now headbutt. Headbutt the rough skin. And now the Carvana is dead. Goodbye, Matthew. I'm sinking! Another one did that joke before. You're not original. You are a fool. A level 28 tentacle. That's a good level up. Like potential. Confusion. Goodbye, Tinta. How dare you survive, Tentacool? You're supposed to be destroyed. You're not supposed to survive. How rude. 
420. Hmm. It's just that the, there was just enough gap between those sprites that I thought maybe, just maybe, level 31. Uh, but I don't think I have anything to really worry about. Confusion. Wrap all you want, you're still gonna die. Goodbye, Tentacool. Goodbye. Now level up Luna so she can become super buff. And we can just slowly level everyone up. What? It's been a while since Nickel got some licks in. Edwin, I don't know who you are. Lost a battle. Oh, sure. Haven't heard that one before. I guess that's the decrepit ship, I suppose. Come on, Nickel. Destroy this tentacool. And show him that he actually, in fact, is not cool. But, in fact, is lame. I probably should have used... Hmm. Is steel weak to water, I wonder? Eh, before we go into that apparently abandoned ship, let's save so that if wacky things happen, we don't immediately just die. Well, that's ominous. There are just so many people hanging about this ruined place like nothing's happening. Darn you, I wanted a double battle. What on earth would compel you to come here? I don't know what compelled you to come here. I guess it's because you're a cool trainer, but still. At least this place will be of nice experience for me. That's not water gun, that's single water bubble. You false advertising whale. That has good experience for me. We'll level up Nickel and then let others play. Kill that horsey. Send it out to sea. In a Viking funeral. Quit spitting on the bird! It's very rude. And level up for Nickel. Not just curious, but also strong. And now a little bit richer. You're such a tough trainer. Let me register you as a memento. Is that all my number is to you? A memento? And we're gonna let... Why, I've been found, huh? You were staring at a cool lady. What do you mean you've been found? And why do you want to not be found, apparently? Why is your Zigzagoon not a Lanoon yet? You're a terrible f trainer, now die. At this point, <laughs> if it weren't for the fact that uh, Shane has Leaf Blade, Zoom would probably be my ace at this point. She's just so powerful. Booyah! Get annihilated. Demetrius? Why are you called Demetrius? Oh, you're not my mom. Kid, I am like only a few years older than you, you psychopath. Can I fall down these holes? I cannot. An old man. What is that old man doing here? Is he plotting murder? Is he a goost? I wanted to make sure that I didn't accidentally miss an item being on. Diddly. Ships of this sort are rare, so I'm taking a look around. There appear to be other cabins. Yes, because it's a ship. Oh, interesting. Isn't it fun here? I just get excited just being here. Good for you, kid. When we go out to sea, we sailors always bring our Pokemon. How about a quick battle? What's a sailor doing on an abandoned ship? 
your feel is gonna get annihilated. I'm terribly sorry. They are adorable, but they must be killed. Spark. We're on a training kick for my Pokemon. That was overkill, Striker. You did not need to critical hit that Sphiel. You just did not need to. I'm a choke, huh? Luna, come out here and annihilate. All fighting types must be hurt. How dare you glare at my Pokemon like that. Die. Why does a sailor have a Machoke? I guess just for the muscle? Whoops, I'm sunk! Are you sure you're not drunk? And that's why everybody left you behind. Storage is painted on. It's empty. Oh, I'm getting queasy just being on board this ship. I'm not even moving, but... What's wrong with you, then? Is it a phantom seasickness? Okay. Let me guess, this is a dive spot. Because I think dive is a move that you can do to go elsewhere. Uh, don't tell me I have to get rid of headbutt for... dive. That would be terrible. And a dive ball. I guess for catching water type Pokemon. It's a perfect place to go exploring. It's exciting here. I bet there are amazing treasures on board. This is a uh, cruise liner. Yay, it's a ship. And you are very special, obviously. Is this kid one I'm going to fight? Yep. What's so funny about having my inner tube aboard the ship? Honestly, I probably want an inner tube on a ship like that as well, because it is abandoned and crumbling. So I guess it's not a terrible idea to have a flotation device on you in case you, like, fall into a flooded area. And by the way, Spark, kill that Meryl. Goodbye, Meryl. It was hardly worth killing. Whoa, you overwhelmed me! I'm gonna pop your inner tube. Ah, oh, this ain't good. Strength and compassion! Those are a traitor's treasures! I'm not good at swimming, but I'm good at battles. I highly doubt that. You both will be annihilated. Why do you have a sand slash on a ship? Kill the Meryl. Kill the other one. At least it'll be a two-on-one in a second. If that Meryl survived, I would have laughed. The Meryl survives out of spite, purely to make your line inaccurate. No, not that, because it's probably impossible. And kill. How would tackling a spiked creature like that be like? Feels like it wouldn't be good. Oh, there's something about you that sparkles. Oops, that didn't go very well. Of course not. You're all fools. And I found a revive! Huzzah! Why are there trash cans if they're just gonna be empty all the time? And I should probably heal Nickel for any more random future double battles. Doesn't need to be perfect, just needs to be able to survive. Oh, we were searching for treasures, but we discovered a trainer instead. That is a creepy thing to say. Ah, unique sprite. Young couple. Huh. I think you're gonna be annihilated, my, my apologies. Ooh, quick attack. Good for you, now die. Goodbye, bug. Ah, I thought that would do more. Wish! Oh no, this Pokemon knows a level 9 D&D spell!
Or like a, a ninth level slot spell. What did Wish even do? You're weirdos. Oh, you make me so angry. I'm gonna register you for that. Ah, oh, great, a Yandere. What even is this place? Is this like a forsaken... Well, let's read. Maybe. Nope, no model. A blueprint of some sort? It's too complicated. I'm investigating this ship on behalf of Captain Stern. He also asked me to find a scanner, but I haven't had any success. Could it be that... Oh, it's gonna be in the storage room, isn't it? More than likely. Part of me almost thought that we would get the storage key far, far later. The inserted key stuck fast, but the door opened. Found ice beam. I thought the, like, scanner was going to be in here. Huh. Hmm. I'll quickly head back, see if there's, like, anything else. I can't think. Interesting. Is there, like, anything at all? Investigating the ship. He also asked me to find a scanner, but I haven't had any success. I probably need dive. I probably need dive to access that other, like, sunken part of the ship. <laughs> but I do not have dive. And I... Hmm, doubly fear that I won't have a Pokemon besides my... Ba ba ba, my zoom. That could do it. My liar of a boyfriend told me that I look great in a bikini. So he doesn't think you look good in a bikini, or do you not think that you look good in a bikini? You're an odd woman. Die. You're a heretic witch. Throw her into the sea. Well, let Striker play out this. I don't care about Roar. It's not really useful to me. That is a strategy that uh, is beyond me. And Spark. Goodbye, Meryl. Why are you so common of a Pokemon? Like, you're only decent at soaking damage. That lady gave me less money than children do. That's almost pathetic. Let's see. Who should get some fighting in? How about Zoom and Nightfang? I take huge pride in my Pokemon. We'll show you one speedy battle. I love water type Pokemon. I love other Pokemon too. You shall be annihilated. I wonder why they decided... Oh, Jesus. I wonder why precisely they decided to go into... Like, double battles. Like, as a mechanic for Pokemon. I think it's really cool. Hmm. That one scares me the most. Annihilate it now. We will annihilate the Aberration Trainer. Another one? Why do you have two? I guess maybe you just like electric dogs, but still. You don't get to play the game. <laughs> you don't get to play the game. Only I get to play the game. Let me guess. Lowers, uh, increases your evasion. Or just shroud you in mist. Destroy. Goodbye, Swello. Not the supersonic, but at least you waited until you were alone to do that. Because that just means I get, uh, other attacks on you. 
break through that confusion. Damn it. <laughs> Goodbye, Wingle. What next? Another Wingle? No, oh, I'm a chap. I forget. Are they, like, randomly, like, okay against Dark for some reason? Yeah. Why are fighting types randomly just not affected by Dark all that much? That's weird. Hm. Cut that Machop. Cut him now. With a knife. And a tentacle, how dare you. Eat him. Eat him alive. And more cutting. Oh, that confusion stuck around, didn't it? Flinch harder. And destroy. Cut that into sushami. Sushimi? Some kind of food. And you guys didn't even level up my Pokemon. That wasn't cute at all. I lost. Wah, wah. Well, he did say that he loved Pokemon. I love tough trainers too. Register me in your Pokenav. You are an odd man. Ooh, a star piece. I think that is probably a thing to sell. I assume. Star piece. Yep, would sell for a very high price. I have a lot of things to sell once we get back to land. Let's see. What Pokemon? What Pokemon? I guess still everyone. Still everyone. Fight me. My dream is to swim the world's seven seas. Like, all in a row? Or just kind of like you jump in from a beach? Why is that with level 26 when I fought like a level 31 earlier? Bite it. Eat it. Eat its soul. Nom nom. Well, that's not good. How good is tackle? Eh, about the same. Half a dozen of one, six of the other. And you missed, you fool. No supersonic for you. How does a squid even do supersonic? A thousand? Why a thousand? What even is Scary Face? Is it worthwhile, my time? Sharply reduced speed. Nope, I don't care. Plus, it is a 10 power point move. Once again, game, I am pressing cancel. Let me just press cancel to cancel it. I won't be able to swim the seven seas like this. I mean, to be fair, it's a decent Pokemon for swimming the seven seas. It's just that you fought me. There's a big difference. Well, let's uh, fight you guys. Well, this is a mood breaker. I wish you wouldn't disturb our precious time together. I'll disturb your time any time I want. I wonder why all the young couples are out at sea. You must be annihilated. Which one's scary? I think that one's scarier. And Leaf Blade! Like a ninja. Oh, that's not good at all. Okay, the one that isn't damaged used Mega Drain. Good for you. But fine, we'll bring somebody else out. We'll bring out Nickel. And you can headbutt that one again. Bye-bye, Dustox. Bye-bye. How dare you stun Spore, my beautiful bird. How will he be able to fly? Steel wing, because I hate you. Cut that bug. Leave the boy alone! Steel wing! I 
because I just think it's neat. And we haven't used it yet. Well, I give up. <laughs> and now all your Pokemon are passed out, and how did you even get here? Did you use Fly? Alright, another double battle. Zoom is rather hurt, so... I'll put Luna in place. Wow, this dude's gonna catch himself a big one! Is that a euphemism? For a guy as macho as me, this kind of Pokemon is the perfect match! And what kind of Pokemon would that be? Birdman? Attorney at law? Ah, attorney at fuck. Well, Leaf Blade the Whalmer and uh, Psychic the Skarmory, I guess. Goodbye, Whalmer. And who's next? A Tentacruel. Psychic that Skarmory and do nothing, because for some reason, Steel resists Psychic. And I don't understand why. I guess Leaf Blade that and Psychic that. I just, I don't understand. What about Steel makes it resist Psychic energy? Well, that's just rude. Goodbye, Tentacruel. Once again, would have been hilarious if it survived with 1 HP. Again. And I guess Bullet Seed and Confusion. Leave the boy alone! And now kill him! With Confusion! Oh yeah, and there's gonna be a second bastard after that. Another Skarmory? Another Skarmory. Who'd a thunk? Yeah, another Psychic. Get rid of him. Get rid of that monster right now! Very cool design. But Blarg. What even is Swift? Like, in the world of Pokemon, what is Swift? Is it energy? Does the Pokemon literally throw stars at you that do like one damage? Goodbye, Skarmory. This dude just lost one. I'm cool even in defeat, hey? I don't believe you. I think you're burning up inside. You're very angry. You want to murder someone. And what item did you find, Zoom? A rappel. <laughs> Are you telling me something? That you want all the fighting to stop? I'll at least heal you. Because you were in the yellow. Oh, hey, an item. A power point up. I should really try and use some of those. Really should. Are you properly protected against the sun? Are you trying to set up a euphemism? Don't worry, all your Pokémon are going to die. Absorb! Your little healing stations do wonders for my Pokemon. And absorb again just to get it out of here. Bye bye, Goldeen. And level up for Shane. It's about to use a Wingle. We know exactly who to use there. Striker! Your perfect prey has arrived again. I'm a water bird. I'm an electric dog. Die. Extra, extra. 
single child goes through and annihilates an entire route. Millions dead. Goodbye, Goldeen. Why do you have a horn? Like, what are you? Part narwhal? Ouch, ouch, ouch! Let me guess, you got sunburned. Well, a bunch of people are here to fight, I guess. I'm going to assume this is a potential double battle. Since you just leveled up, let's put you in place. Little kids can dart around so quickly, you don't dare take your eyes off them for an instant. It's very taxing. Mine are with my Pokemon, so they should be okay, but they're gonna fight. Hi, big trainer, will you battle with me? I will annihilate you and throw you into the sea, where you will drown. <laughs> Excuse me. I don't know why I sneeze sometimes. It's just my brain goes, up. Oh, it's time for this. And then everything happens. What if I talk to Lady after I defeat her children? I can't swim without my inner tube, but I won't lose it, Pokemon. I'm going to annihilate you. Your mother will be very disappointed at you. Why do you only have two Meryl? You'd think that you would want, like, a Pikachu to watch after your kids. An electric type to take care of the monsters of the water that might rise from the deep. But like, I don't know, a Bulbasaur? Did I lose because I have an inner tube? How does that even factor into anything? Might have with the knocked out Pokemon. I just invade islands. And now we're back on land. Back at Slateport. First things first is we're going to go to the Pokemon Sienta. Then we're gonna go see if Captain Stern is there. Maybe he'll be like, oh, we can give you diving technology or something. But if there's nothing that Captain Stern can give me, we will go and do stuff for uh, Watson at Mauville. Shipbuilding is an art. A lot of things can't be figured out just by calculating. I really could use advice from a veteran who knows the seas. Archie? You want Archie? The seasons, the weather, where the moon sits in the sky. These are the other conditions make the sea change its expression. That's right, the sea is like a living thing. I get seasick really easily, so I get to help out here instead. Well, let's see if Captain Stern is up ahead in, like, I guess the next stage up. The stairs. Through the power of stairs, we kill people. A neat perspective! Designing a large ship is more like making a big building than putting together a transportation vehicle. A skyscraper that flies. Don't you think it's strange that a ship made of heavy iron floats? It floats because of a principle called buoyancy. Yeah, basically the amount of water that it displaces pushes up against it, right? And only when the density of the object outmatches the buoyancy of the water that it displaces, does it sink? I do believe. Well, I guess I can spare the $50. Now that everybody's here. Oh, do you perhaps like Pokemon? I'm on an assignment of the TV network. I'm gathering stories on Pokemon and trainers that occurred recently. If you don't mind, could you tell me something about yourself? Sure. Oh, you will? Thank you. Then please tell me anything that interest, of interest that you may have experienced recently involving Pokemon. Can I say Team Magma? <laughs> I. If there's like... Hmm. Let's see. 
<laughs> I legend. I attack. I attack. Just gotta put things together. I attack. I... <laughs> lose, lose. I attack. I offensive. I attack. I number one. Perfect. Oh, what an uplifting story. I'll be sure to get your story told on television. It should be aired sometime, I think, so please look forward to it. I can't wait to see the TikTok you make. I get all giddy and gooey when I see the sea. For me, Captain Stern is the number one role model. I want to learn about the sea and the use that knowledge for battling. Unlike all those fools who are out at sea. I saw a model of a ship here. It reminded me of the abandoned ship near Dufer Town. Don't you dare run around inside the museum. Oh, I wanted to run immediately after. How dare. The sea is vast without end and infinitely deep. There must be many Pokemon we, we don't know about. I want to see a Pokemon. I think it would feel cool and nice to hug. Yeah, you'd think that, wouldn't you? Uh, I guess there's nothing there. Ah, we already went there. Let us leave. Be gone. Well, if that's all, there's only one thing to do. We're going to head up. Well, I guess we can just go through here. What? No, we need to go through because we need to... We need to surf to some place. Because the dude said that there should be a... Diddly D. There should be a generator around here somewhere that we need to get to. Get to activate. Hmm, I suppose it wasn't this way. But it could be up this way. Darn you, wild Pokemon! I'm on a schedule! It's been a while since we've seen a Puchina. We have no time to fight you, Puchiana. We're on a mission. Because he said that it, it should be available through surfing from here, right? Well, we found a rare candy. And that's something. Maybe he lied to us. Man, worst come to worst, we can walk there and be like, Yo, man, Watson, where the fuck? I could have sworn that he said uh, off Route 110. Need to surf. Need to get there. Why are all the tentacle angry right now? Go away. Be gone. I'm not fighting a Pokemon half my level unless it's a trainer battle that I can humiliate them with. Pokemon! I swear, it's like... The moment that your Pokemon reach a certain level, all the low-level Pokemon come out to fight you. They must all be in on it to sell more frickin' like diddly dee. I'm just going to ride the bicycle path. And we're gonna go talk to him and see what he has to say again. Maybe I just missed the proper route. Zip, zip, zoom. Why are you in my way, jerk? Or maybe it's from here that we need to swim. Entirely possible. Team Aqua was here. <laughs> but then someone else painted over it. Team Magma rules is what it says now. They are literally children. That'd probably be a neat place for the, like, secret, like, base thing. But again, it requires using a Pokemon, uh, like, ability slot. Or, like, one of the four move slots, I mean. It just feels like a poor use. 
Also, I just realized we haven't used Flash on anything ever. Like, there was the one time that we had to use Flash, and then the game just forgot about it. That's freaking hilarious. Oh, I thought this would be a cave. Interesting music. I think that locked off that way, and I'm a fool. Not an electrode. No, a Voltorb. Funny thing, my brain went Voltorb, but then, like, no, it's always a good idea to... And messed up, like a fool. Flinch harder, little man. Now I'm going to cut you open to discover what you really are. Level up for Zoom. Ah, oh, you found an item. What is it? Also, I just... Ah, bah. Bah, bah. Just realized something. I need to head back and sell all the stuff that we got. This place is easy to access, so it's not that bad a thing. But we have, like, the Great Pearl, the Star Piece, just tons of things to sell. I guess you're worthy of killing. We'll have to, like, immediately Pokemon Center again. Because that way we can head in nice and fresh. First things first, sell everything. I have a shit ton of things to sell you. And they should all be near the bottom. First, star piece. Give me lots of money. Next, big pearl. Give me lots of money. And I think that's mostly it. Yeah, that's it. Goodbye. I just wanted to get them out of my inventory so I would have more inventory space. Give me my experienced and healthy Pokemon. I wonder if there's, like, only one person works here. They manage the entire Pokemon Center themselves because it's so easy. But then if the machine breaks, all hell breaks loose. Pokemon start dying left and right. A zombie apocalypse happens. Hmm. Now that makes me wonder. There has to be a Pokemon zombie fan game, doesn't there? It has to exist. Alright, so at least that proves that that door has always been closed. Beep, boop, beep, beep, boop. Well, let Striker take down some electric types. Hmm. I wonder if using an electric move would be more powerful than tackle. Experiment time. Eh, basically evens out. But there always has to be one place where Voltorbs exist, and of course. You bastard. You motherfuckers. How dare you sonic a boom, my fucking man? Is very rude. Hmm. I'll put zoom ahead to take care of these electric types. So it's like a puzzle thing. Not a Magnemite. Oh, wait. Wait. Ah. Let's see what happens if I use Surf on you. For science. Oh, so. They're the electricity which would otherwise, like, make it good against it. Bleh. At least I don't have to worry about steel types ever again with that now. Hmm. So yeah, this is one big puzzle, isn't it? Full of annoying Pokemon. 
Or at least they give decent experience, I suppose. So it's not like the worst thing in the world. Not the Sonic Boom. Interesting. So electric types are powerful against water, but they don't like have resistance against water. Also, that attack came really quickly. That's kind of bothersome game. Ever so slightly bothersome. I love you. I don't think that there should be abilities like that. Where they're just like, ah, you played the game, now you get punished for it. Especially against wild Pokemon, it's just annoying. We're gonna paralyze you if you attack Pokemon. In the Pokemon game. Why? It's very silly and stupid. Can I go, like, uh, more steps than that? Please, game. Because I want to get into fights, but I want them to be spaced out. God damn you. Paralysis is annoying. Kill him. Kill him now. Make him scream. Make him scream now. Why is this place so big? Is that all this place has to it is annoying random battles against two Pokemon types? With them constantly trying to paralyze your Pokemon, so there's no point in curing your Pokemon of paralysis, because then they're just going to be paralyzed again. Yay, my favorite. You are very bothersome. Heal you as well, then we'll heal Zoom again. I just want to look around so I know where. You know what? Fuck this. I'm gonna put a repel down now. Because these are just annoying to do. These are annoying to fight. They add paralysis like a million times, which is stupid. I'm gonna do a normal repel. Alright, so this just looped back around. Oh, you're an electrode, aren't you? Oh, well, it's just a Voltorb. Like every other Voltorb that we've been fighting. Why is this a thing? Like, if we weren't fighting Voltorbs this entire time, that would make sense. Honestly, I was half expecting it the first time that we picked up a Pokeball. Why are you existing in my world? And Repel's effect wore off. Yes, I know it's only a hundred steps, but still. Why is there just, like, this full place? And another one. I guess because they knew that people would start using repels because they did it annoying and made the encounter rate fucking ever. Every single step. They're like, no, the players are going to be using the repels. We have to force them into the same kind of battle. It's not even like a trainer battle where you get money 
and decent experience for it. <laughs> Meanwhile, that one is paralyzed heal. Hilarious. I'm gonna quickly... Hmm. Because the door is unlocked. It's just the same Pokemon at the same level that you run into anyway if you're not using Repel. Why are you like this? Like, maybe if it was a maze of Pokeballs, and you're like, there are items here, but then also a bunch of enemies. Like, that could be interesting. I'm gonna do it again. Because I don't want to fight the annoying paralyzed monsters. A Thunderstone, but I have no electric types to, uh, diddly dee. Why do we even want to stop the generator? I guess maybe because the town isn't using it, but then why didn't they turn it off? Like, these people are weird. Once again, put on a repel. I don't even fully understand, like, the door puzzle stuff. What is point? It feels... This is annoying area, the game. More than anything. Jesus, Rappel. Interesting place, but it's just annoying because the encounter rate was too high. That is its main demonic weakness. If the encounter rate was just a little less... Eh? Huh? I don't know why, I thought you were weird. Like you're not supposed to be there. <laughs> I knew it, Neon. I knew you. I'd made the right choice asking you. This is my thanks, a TM containing Thunderbolt. Go on, you've earned it. <laughs> it pleases me to know in to see the young people step up and take charge. It just repeats that. Neat. Well, let's see. Thunderbolt, eh? Powerful electric attack. 95 power, 100 accuracy. 15 power points. Definitely going to give it to Striker. I might just get rid of Spark and give it some power point ups. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. Bye bye, Spark. Let's go and uh, find some PowerPoint ups in here. I got three. Thunderbolt. By how much, I wonder? One, probably. No, it actually went up a good bit. In that case, I'm gonna raise the PowerPoints of Psychic as well. And Psychic. So I can get a good few extra moves out of those moves. Let's see. Zoom also found an item. Take. An Ultra Ball. Have my Pokemon and heal them up now. Heal them up now or die by my hand. And with that, we shall come, Tanya. Down this way now. I guess I'll put Striker in first. Let's try and level up some folk. Beat up some Pokemon. 
A level 34 tentacool. You let me guess, the only reason you're not a tentacruel is because you want to be mean to me. Get thunderbolted, nerd. And that didn't even kill you, how rude. And you still only did two damage of that, hilarious. At least this is probably going to be my training spot for a while. And randomly level 13. I guess I'll tackle you to death. Random downgrade. Why is there such a level discrepancy? What the hell? Ah, yes, my favorite. Like, over 25... Like, over 20 level discrepancy in what is available in this area. That is insane. That is honestly ridiculous. I just realized it was entirely possible that Stryker might have learned Thunderbolt on his own, and I might have wasted something. Now I am sad. Guess he doesn't want to talk to somebody surfing. Hmm, a good rod is really good, wouldn't you agree? Sure, I guess. Take this good rod. Wherever there's water, try your look at fishing. Oh, you're Neon. Hi, do you remember us from last time? Can you show us how much stronger you've become? Okay, Q interview! I'm going to annihilate you just like last time. You dare to stand in my path. Then you will die. Get rid of that loud dread. And destroy that Magnemite! Almost. How dare you supersonic my bird! And it didn't even try to electric tech my bird. You are very dumb. Confusion. No need to waste. Nickel, no! Goodbye, Magnemite. You fool. Standing in my way. Double confusion. One of them's gonna break through and kill you, buddy. One of them's gonna kill you. Confusion can't last forever. How dare you do it two times in a row? The game is rigged against me. It is the only answer. Huzzah! Level up for Nickel. That was an intense battle. Did you get all that on camera? Goodbye! Remember, that's the quote you gave us the battle clincher last time. I never ever forget stuff like that. Anyway, what do you think? Do you want to be interviewed again? Sure. Okay, I need to describe your feelings about our battle, but it has to be short and sweet. Hmm. Status. Why is beauty a status? I don't even see confusion in there. But I know. Egg. That's the perfect clincher. I get the feeling that this will make a great TV show. There's a chance that they'll air this on TV, so make sure to look for us. We'll be seeing you. I'm a fisherman, but I'm also a trainer. I'm raising the Pokemon I caught. Even though that means sticking, like, metal in them and making them scream in pain and agony. Prepare, Nickel. Destroy this fool. Kill his fish. Kill his fish! Gonna send out a Carvana, huh? A Carvana, huh? Then I'm gonna blast you with a bloody thunderbolt. Your little dark fish will die, drowning in the deep thunderbolt. And now your fish is dead, 
eat your fish. Eat it. I thought I was doing okay in my training. You are a fool. And let's try and level up Luna some. Oh, you. Hi, Neon. That's me, Steven. We met at the cave near Dooford. Have you met in many kinds of Pokemon since I last saw you? There are many, many kinds of Pokemon in this wide world of ours. If you wanted to raise only your favorites, that's fine. Perhaps you'll find it more fun to raise all sorts of Pokemon. As a trainer of Pokemon, what do you think? Of course, it's not any of my business. It would be nice if we were to meet again somewhere. We hardly even talked! I shall slash down this tree. I shall gather these bowie. Bowie. The berries are mine. They are mine to devour. Another secret base tree. But I wanted to sneak up on this guy and snap his neck. Oh boy, another wingle. Shoot it out of the sky. Confusion, psychic powers. I was so confused that I called psychic confusion because I am a fool. It's been a bit since you've been at the front of the pack. Take flight, my bird Pokemon! I'm going to destroy them all with glee. With glee. You're a terrible trainer. Your tailor is not a swallow yet. You must destroy him. Destroy his soul. How dare you, quick attack. That is illegal in this town. And now your bird is dead. How does that make you feel? Are ah, you going to use a swallow next? You thought you were slick? I will destroy you for your hubris. Striker. Kill. Thunderbolt! The bolt has been thundered. They did take flight. Do your birds now hate you and fly away from you forever? Let's look at my pokey nav. I think we'll finish off this section. Then we'll, like come back here and end off because we're getting close to three hours. Then again, I guess I could try and go for that like actual thing, go for the hole. But let's see. Pokemon bird that fly elegantly in the sky. They're the best! You mean flying type Pokemon. They're not bird type. Bird type does not exist. Kill that bird. Murder it. Eat its soul. Make it a scream. Bye-bye, bird boy. I dance on your grave. I crashed. Just like the stock market. I'll put you in front. Oh, hey. Because it's been a bit, and my ace should be high level. Another Ultra Ball. How many people are just dropping Ultra Balls here? A level 24 Zigzagoon? What the hell? Kill it now! Kill it now! It must be blasted into space where it belongs. Also, I just realized Shane has, like, no health. Compared to everybody else that I've been leveling up. His health is at 81. I have Pokemon in the hundreds of health now. The one hundreds, but still hundreds. Quick attack is banned! Die! We will quickly throw you into hell. Go for four. Go for four. No! Not the four. And now we get to go first. Because you are a fool. You got critical hit. Then again, if you were shot with a gun, it would probably be a critical hit, too. Just 
routes. What's the purpose of this? No, seriously, what is the purpose of this? That seems weird. Somebody's evil at foot. Let's do a double battle then. Fight me! My confidence will get a boost by beating someone obviously strong. This is my awesome bug Pokemon. My big brother got it for me. Your bug Pokemon will die a slow, painful death, and no one will be able to find its corpse. An Absol? I want an Absol. Even though it probably... The problem is that uh, Absol probably doesn't have any typing that would work good for me. Ah. That's probably... Uh, I would love an Absol, but I already have Night Fang. How rude. Oh, you use a hyper potion, you cheating little bastard? Yeah, it's just like, I would love to have an Absol, but Night Fang has been a staple of the team and has earned his place. And it's just like, this game doesn't really... This game isn't good for having multiple teams that you swap between. That's probably a part of the thing, like, in this game, like, the, the the levels are all balanced around you having, like, one team, and occasionally you swap out one Pokemon. But I don't want to swap out any of my Pokemon. Here goes my confidence. Well, you meanie, you challenged me! Not my fault you just had one Pokemon. Not my fault that you're a fool. They say good times are filled with good aromas. Nobody says that. Nobody at all. Let's see what happens if we use Leaf Blade on you. Wah. How dare you mega drain me? I'll kill you. And we shall shift. Oh, that's not what I wanted. I meant I was shift you. My brain was just like, I want to select this one to move, even though it's obvious. Quit using just mega drain. Gather some strategy like use a one other move. Like, watch, I only use wing attack when I use nickel. <laughs> and let me guess. We will keep nickel out to destroy you. We haven't seen a gloom yet. Put it in the PowerPoint presentation. Die, Aroma Lady. I smell the bitter, bitter scent of misery. You are a fool. A fool. I shall take all of your berries and leave them stale. I guess if you want to grind berries, this is where you do it. Why do these look like candles? What the fuck is a palm egg? And you think I'll put them back? You're wrong. I won't because I don't really use berries for anything. I don't know the intrinsic systems of Pokeblocks and making medicine out of berries. Even if I did that, my inventory would overflow and it would be worthless. Berry Master's house. They call me the Berry Master. I dream of filling the world with beautiful flowers, so I raise berries and hand them out to everyone. You're deserving of one. A single palm egg. 
A single palm. Like, why be stingy? Take another! Why are you just gonna give me a billion berries? Be sure to visit the pretty petal flower shop near Rossboro. That flowers fill the world! The way my husband grows berries, oh, he's the best in the world. He makes me proud that he does. Incidentally, child, have you heard a good saying lately? I, of course, do know. Egg. Egg. Oh, a good saying it is. You're quite remarkable. I want you to have this. Through the power of egg, egg, I win. Our four grandchildren should become more accomplished than my husband. Joy never goes out of my life. In search of trainers. Hi, today I'm visiting an area near Route 118. We're trying to spot some up-and-coming talent in the field. Today we turned our lens to the trainer Neon. There's something about this trainer that piqued our interest. We've battled Neon before, but we can attest that the trainer has most definitely improved from before. I knew we were onto someone special when we spotted this trainer. The best way to determine how strong a trainer is? Well, the fastest way is to battle. And so we began our investigation. That's how we ended up in battle with Neon. In a dominating performance, we were flattened, rolled up, and tossed aside. You reused your lines from before, you hack! Neon is ruthlessly strong. Here's our impressions after having battled this featured ta trainer. The combination of Swellow and Gardevoir was divine. The sight of them, Swellow and Gardevoir, selflessly supporting each other in the thick of battle. It was a marvelous sight to behold. Confusion was the move the trainer used last in our battle. The move Confusion is Swellow and Gardevoir's sign of friendship. Well, they were both confused at the end of the battle, so I guess that does make sense. After our battle, we asked Neon for a sunken summary. The trainer replied, Egg. Neon's Pokemon, Swallow and Gardevoir, and Egg. Mm, that's deep. There's deep significance behind that quote. It's no surprise a good trainer has good things to say. That's all for today. See you again on our next broadcast. On our next TikTok that has taken over the goddamn planet, apparently. Time for a double battle. Time for a double battle. Kill the children. Hello, trainer. I hope your Pokemon won't cry when they lose. You are a child deserving of death. You must be annihilated for the sake of all. Leaf Blade and Bite. Kill them both. Darn you for not dying! Why can't you learn that one, Shane? Why can't you learn Mega Drain to get rid of that Absorb? At least they've attacked the wrong one there. Go ahead and do that. Darn. I mixed up the one we were going to kill. We're going to do major damage to that one. And then we'll finish off Beautifly next time. Ah, critical hit, so maybe this Dustox will die. Nope, the Dustox decided to survive like a bastard. And it got a critical hit in return. And once again refused to use the wind attack against, like, an actual thing that would die. Kill that Beautifly. Make it die. What is with the critical hits today? And destroy that dust ox. Victory for I. Uh oh, we lost. You're supposed to cry, little child. Cry and die and die cry. Because nobody loves you. Least of all you. You hate yourself. But let's see. What's up ahead? It's a long way there, so we're gonna quickly... Like, uh, head back a bit. Purely to heal up our Pokemon. And then see if we can make it to that town. It's a long trek, it seems. So it will probably be a little bit... But well, we can at least give it a shot. And Watson is Gonson. Maybe somebody drowned him for the good of the world. The irony is palpable. The electricity trainer is drowned. 
If he didn't want to drown, why didn't he just electrify the water? Obviously, it's suicide. I'm a great detective. And now we swam. Le what now, level 35, Tentacool? Level 31. Well, that's going to make him level up anyway. Striker, come out here and kill. You dare show your face, you monster? Where you dare to go higgledy piggledy? I'm going to be water type but not be affected by grass? Die. Also, yeah, it doesn't really make much sense. It's just like poison. Does the poison dilute the water, making it not conduct electricity? I mean, not even that. Like, why does poison make it harder to beat up, like, grass-type side? It makes no sense. What item doth thou found today, dearest? More repel. Good for you. You are a good Pokemon. Ding, 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 ding. Go, Nickel. You can destroy him. Surely. It won't electrify you at all. No, it'll electrify you. It's smart. Beat it with wind anyway. Beat him down. Beat him down. Oh, is this like super tall grass? It's a no-go. The tall grass sneers bike tires. There's no way you can cycle here. Great, so it's a madness here. The mimic circle was formed by people who like to mimic. A battle starts the instant we meet. But I don't know mimic. I turned that down. Also, you are a child. I'm going to kill you. No one will find your body in this tall grass. Be gone, Ninjask. Falter, fall, and die in this grasslands. I give up! Forfeit your mimic powers unto me. And die. And what kind of creatures reside in the super tall grass? Normal things, apparently. Apparently everybody was close to leveling up. Not acid. Don't you dare poison my boy, girl. Now die. I feel like cut should have a special attribute in which it does damage to grass types because it cuts down trees. I found your super repel. It is mine now. You don't know who I am, do you? But I also don't know you, so we'll battle! That makes no sense, small child. Kill that Volbeat. Kill it now. Make it scram. How would one even headbutt a bug? Hmm, we'll send out Night Fang so that he can level up a bit. Seriously, everybody was close to leveling up this entire time. Eat the bug. Devour its soul. Quick attack is illegal! Die! Quit quick attacking. It is illegal. We will impound your bug. Your bug will never become a fantasy lawyer ever again. And you found an item. What be the item? A great ball. A ball that is great. Because it is a great ball. 
With a great ball comes great bower. So we finally meet. My bug Pokemon will keep you company. You sound like a kidnapper. Well, you are a bug maniac. Why is your Wurmple not evolved yet? Kill. Destroy his bugs. Destroy his life. Thunderbolt. Not really much of a bug maniac if you only have one single line of bug Pokemon. You are a fool to challenge me, Donald. Go back to Disneyland. That's kind of amusing. The Beautifly becomes weak to lightning. After all of its evolutions weren't. I wish we'd never met. That's a harsh thing to say, man. We just met. It's not my fault that you're a stupid stupid. If you step forward, we step forward. If you turn right, we turn too. That sounds disturbing. Why are you like this? Oh boy, it's another one of these. I'll just thunderbolt you to death until striker levels up. You are an odd little man. Destroy them. Ah, you're the alternate one. Instead of a beautifly, you're gonna have a dust ox. Because you're unoriginal. And goodbye, Dust Ox. Will you survive this or will you die? Ah, it's not weak to thunder. Why was the Beautifly weak to thunder but not Dust Ox? Weird. I suppose there has to be some differences between the evolutions to justify it. Level up for Striker. Huzzah! But if you win, I lose. What he should have done what he should have said was, and when you win, I win too. To truly mess with us. Yep, you finally caught me. Or were you trying to avoid me? I didn't even know you were really here. I was just looking for people to annihilate. Luna, destroy that Nincada. And let me guess, you're gonna send out a Ninjask next. You are so original. Annihilate him. Not double team. Not that. It could prolong the battle. And no one wants... Okay, critical. <laughs> Luna definitely didn't want that. Luna saw. He was trying to <laughs> increase the length of the battle. And decided, no, you shall not. I found another hyper potion. We're the mimic circle. We mimic what you do. I don't think you do. If you really did, we would never have run into each other. Hey, you're new. I haven't run into one of you yet. Congratulations, die. Whoopsie, I lost. I thought you were supposed to mimic everything I do. And that's it, we're on the other side. I thought you fly by catching a whole flock of bird Pokemon and then hanging on to them somehow. But it turns out there's an HM called Fly. I wish I'd known about that a long time ago. So you've just been flying with a flock of... Ah, I see. I heard about a cave called the Cave of Origin. People rumor that the spirits of Pokemon revived there. Could something like that really happen? 
Well, then why do we even need technology to make diddly D, uh, what's it called, uh, Fossil Mon, if we can just go to the Cave of Origin? Hmm, this feels like it's veered off into a weird direction. Can your Pokemon use its secret power on a big pile of grass and make a secret base? Probably. I'm not going to do it. I will take these berries. And I'll look around, because we're in a weird area right now. Because I can definitely see that, like, there's an acrobike puzzle right there, but I want to see. Well, let's acrobike across. This seems highly dangerous. Uh, just more secret base stuff. I don't really, I don't really get the point. Oh, and then there's the big pile of grass, I guess. But I don't really care about secret bases. I haven't used one because it, it means sacrificing a move or carrying a Pokemon purely for the purpose of like doing that it just seems weird to do I guess I'm gonna quickly zip about you spoke to me so you want to challenge me sure I'll try out the Pokemon I caught while surfing but you were you weren't surfing I was surfing how dare you try to gaslight me you got a lot of you are a pathetic man. Die. Do you only have Magikarp? Do you only have Magikarp? Ah, you have Carvana. I will swap. I will swap to Striker because you're being mean and using a dark type fish. Kill that Carvana. Are you gonna use a Tentacool? Then I shall send out Luna so she can get more experience. Destroying your puny poison motherfucker. We'll just use Confusion. It's 12 levels low. It should do. Bye-bye. And who are you going to send out next? A Feebas. You should be able to take on a Feebas. If you were a true trainer, you'd send out a Melodic. Feebas. Probably the hardest to catch Pokemon in Pokemon Emerald. I don't have a clue about what it takes to win. Yeah, because Feebas only, like, spawns in a handful of places all across the game that is random every single game. Utterly insane. Is there anything I care to get rid of? Hmm. Why are there so many things? I don't have any fire types. I guess I could get rid of the energy powder because I don't care about you. Zinc. What does it do? I think it raises defense. Ah, special defense. Who's the one most likely to be annihilated? I think Shane. Hmm. Yeah, I think Shane. Well, I think that's it. Now we just have to go on that bridge. Let me guess. Level 30. Ah. Level 26 Wingle. Destroy him! Throw him into the sea. That did more experience than that diddly D Magikarp. 
You want to fight me? Oh, look at you. For someone gone on adventure, you're traveling awfully light. It's because I don't need to eat. I don't need to sleep. This moon doesn't even rise here in this world. You dare face me? You will die for your incidents. That was overkill, Luna. You did not need to critical super hit. Oh, you're gonna send out a Rosalia. A Rosalia, eh? You're going to send out a Rosalia, confused a little bitch. Make him scream. And now it is dead. It is a good buyer. It goes away. I... Let's take a look and see what Imprison even is. Prevents foes from using moves known by the user. That's worthless to me. Especially when it's stuff like... Freaking overheat. I'm gonna go up and then be like, Oh, I'm going to want... Like, literally, it would be more interesting if it would randomly seal one battle command. Accidents happen when you're not prepared. Like losing to me. Do you have a Pokénav? It, it's a must-have tool for any trainer. Oh, you do have one. Let's register each other then. Let's see. Next up is leveling up Shane, I suppose. This is a long bridge. Who has the knowledge and the technique for survival? Pokemon Rangers, that's who? I don't believe you. I think you're a liar and a fiend. You might have a cool Pokemon, but they must be annihilated. Die! This probably won't work. They'll probably do like two damage. Eh, I did like a third of your health. Why? Again, I feel like that is a very dumb thing. How dare you actually fight? You fought? More like you fought, huh? But yeah, it just punishes the player for playing the game. It also punishes, like, knuckle drag out brawls. I didn't have enough Pokemon know-how. You didn't have no have, have enough Pokemon anyway. Oh, but give me a rematch if I'm mocking my lack of knowledge. I will mock you eternally for using a Pokemon that just is mean. The how dare you play the game mon. The sprite overlaying is a little odd. Wherever and whenever I may be, I always have my parasol in hand. I don't believe you. I think you're lying. That parasol is fake. Obviously, it's an umbrella! Devour its soul. How dare you. Devour its soul. Eat that sushi. And bullet seed, just to get it out of here. Why do paralysis only happen to me? Fuck off, game. Kill. How dare paralysis happen multiple times in a row? That should be illegal. Oh, but that's not fair. You know what's not fair? I came into that fight with a paralyzed Pokemon. That's what's not fair. I should find an anti. Let's see. Heals paralysis. Why is the label the first thing? It should be use. Nobody's going to care about the label 90% of the time in this goddamn game. I'll show you the true potential of me and my bird Pokemon. I doubt that. Ah, uh, yes. You're one bird Pokemon. Kill. 
quick attack is illegal! Not very effective. Did over half your health. Quick attack is the work of the devil. Goodbye, Swillow. Goodbye. We lacked potential. You lacked Pokemon. You only had one. How do you expect to get in here anywhere when you have, like, only one or two Pokemon? I have a whole horde. More escape rope. We're not even in a dungeon. I need that item, tall grass Pokemon. How dare you? A level 25 Zigzagoon. It shall die for its sins. Goodbye, Zigzagoon. We found an alock, sir. I need to just, like, check out this entire map. Because it seems odd. There's multiple ways to go, and I don't know which way the game is, like, pointing me to go for progress. Ah, uh, that's obviously a mock bike, but I got a hyper potion. And let me guess, I could have just walked. I could have just walked. Oh, I like kid trainers. Let's have a good one. You are a bad person. If you're not on your guard, you're in the some you're in for some pain. Why do you have to say things like that? You love kid trainers. You should probably stay away from kids at all costs. Leaf blade the bug. Thunderbolt the bug. It is dead through critical hit. Critical lightning! And out comes coughing. Darn. Of course it had to be a poison type as well. Why did you not go for the grass type? Go ahead and annihilate him while you thunderbolt the lava. La 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 I don't know why I tripped up on that. What would happen if lightning hit lava? Probably nothing, really. Kill the coughing. Leave them alone in the world. Bye-bye, coughing. Level up for shame, huzzah! Trying to learn agility. Hmm. I don't think agility really works for me. It's just like, maybe do more. Once again, it's one of those things that's just like, why set up a thing to maybe do more when you can just do more? You're pretty amazing, ho ho ho! You're surprisingly good! We need to swap out, have zoom in front for a bit. Level up everyone. The vast sky holds untold promise! Nothing can compare to the sheer exhilaration of flight! How about uh, throwing you off a cliff? Then you fly and you die. Kill him. And what next? Tropius? What's a Tropius? Well, that's a big motherfucker. 
You are supposed to flinch! Kill him! Why does a bird Pokemon trainer have a monster like that? Down and out! Can that thing fucking fly? I don't fucking believe you. Oh no, it's not Team Aqua. It's the Weather Institute. We're standing, look out here. Hey you, stay away from the Weather Institute, it's not safe. Look out duty, surprisingly boring. Hey you, please don't go near the Weather Institute. I'm a guess, they're supposed to be trying to keep people out of the Weather Institute, but they're not actually doing anything to keep people out of the Weather Institute because they're, they're silly bumpkins. Into the Weather Institute we go. I should probably save, though. In fact, if anything, why don't we stop here? We've been going for a while. We got another badge. We made progress to the next story element, the Weather Institute. So yeah, my guess we'll stop here on the cusp of more Aqua and Magma action. But yes, this time we went and beat our father as the easiest Pokemon gym leader yet, if only because our dear Nickel was able to dodge their the slacking, slack off, whatever, the, uh, the monkey, like, sloth Pokemon long enough and because it just loft around a lot and didn't do much, which is honestly hilarious. Otherwise, it was mostly just a bunch of fighting trainers. We did a quick thing for Watson and turned off a generator, which feels weird. And now we're back up here with Team Aqua, apparently, at the Weather Institute. So yeah. Thank you very much for watching, everybody. If you want more from me, I have two YouTube channels, an edited content YouTube channel, Neon Icy Wings, I swear, content is coming eventually, and then the not edited content YouTube channel, the stream channel, Neon Icy Games, that I stream to and then post the streams to for posterity and archival purposes, called Neon Icy Games. So if you want to watch me stream on YouTube, you can go there, or if you just want to catch up on streams past like the Mass Effect Trilogy, Undertale, Pokemon Yellow, Crystal, and Blue Rescue Team, the whole works. And if you prefer to watch me stream games live from Twitch, I also have that at twitch.tv slash neonicywings, even if Twitch is constantly trying to kill the platform by making it hard and annoying for streamers to just exist. Meh. But so long as it, like, doesn't super affect me, I'll keep streaming, I suppose. It's not like they're making money off of me that much, so bleh. But otherwise, if you want other such things like art from me, similar to my little avatar in the corner, you can follow me on Twitter, Tumblr, DeviantArt, Newgrounds, and uh, Inkblot. All of their links can be found in my link tree, linktr.ee slash neonicywings, or found directly in the bios and descriptions and link areas of the world. Also linked there in my link tree should be my Patreon if you want to help me survive the cruelty of the world, and my writing. So if you care about my writing, you can see my writing there. Meh. But yes, thank you very much for watching, and I hope to see you dudes next time. Bye. Bye. Bye.